Oh, hello everyone! Welcome back to Cruelty Free A to Z, a judgment free zone where we learn all about what it means to be cruelty free. So, today the letter is N, and N is for NYX and Nabla. So, NYX is a tried and true brand from the drugstore who has really upped their game within the past, I'd say, five years. I love NYX so much. And Nabla is a new up and coming brand. So, we got a good mix of both a uh, cult fave, tried and true, and a new brand that we got going on here. So, I have erred in my ways and I did not talk about um, the cruelty free status of each brand in this video. So, I'm going to insert that right here. And right here, all of the qualifications that each of these brands have. <laughs> to be cruelty free. I am so sorry. This is this is awkward for me. This is awkward. I'm sorry. But anyway, now that you know about these brands, keep watching to see how I got this beautiful summer look. Okay, so I will be starting off with the NYX Angel Veil vale Primer. This is pretty much a cult fave on YouTube, but I only recently picked it up, you know, within the past six months but I very much understand why it is such a cult fave. It really does blur and smooth and make your base stick so well. I really, really like it a lot. It does have kind of a silicone-y feel, but more of a creamy silicone, if that makes sense. It doesn't really have any smell, so definitely like that a lot. Okay, and when I come back, I will have my foundation and concealer on. Concealed, unfeeling, and unshowing. So before I get into powdering my face and everything like that and those products, I have two cream blushes from NYX. I have the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. I think this has definitely been discontinued because I have not seen it anywhere in stores in a few years. That's how old it is. I got this in a beauty con box and this was the first cream bl blush that I ever had. It's in the shade Rose Petal Pop and I just have loved it for years and I am so upset that it has been discontinued. So because of that, I am not going to use it in this video, but instead I have the new NYX Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint Blush Mousse in the shade Baby Doll. And so this I actually got as a little free gift from Ulta and it's I think it's pretty new. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this today, but I have a feeling that this is gonna be the kind of a product that I really enjoy. It has this kind of a wand a doe foot applicator, if you will. This kind of reminds me of um, my Storm uh, Cloud Paint from Glossier. I'm trying to do the, uh, the blush trend. We'll see how that works out. I want to be daring, baby, dance tonight. Okay, yeah, love this. It reminds me a lot, actually, of the Glossier Cloud Paint. I think it's a little bit thicker than Glossier, but you can see it blends out so nicely, gives a nice um, natural flush to the cheeks, but like it has still a little bit of a pop. I'm sure you can build this up very nicely, but this is the kind of blush coverage that I really like, so definitely a fan. Knew I would be. This is no surprises here. And really quickly, I just powdered the areas that needed powdering on my face because we are about to go in with a powder product. We're going in with the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium. Oh, okay. Well, now this makes sense because I'm going to show you the color. It's oh, a little deep, a little orange for me. This is, seems to be kind of a trend. Can you open? Yeah, with bronzers lately for me is that they've been a little bit orange, but you know what? We're gonna make it work, designers. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. So this bronzer is definitely very silky, very pigmented, and it blends out, it blends out pretty well, pretty easily, I'd say, actually pretty well. It's definitely not a contour shade for me. It's more of just like a bronze up the face kind of a kind of a product, at least for me, but I definitely would recommend this. It is matte, so if that's your thing, but again, it blends out very well and it's very silky. So good job, NYX. Again, 
no surprise. So my brows are kind of running amok right now. I ran out of my brow whiz. I haven't done them. I haven't tweezed them or anything or cut them in a while. And you know what? That's on me. Um, so right now, all I have in my brows is a product that I have absolutely been loving. It is the NYX The Brow Glue absolutely love it it keeps your brows holds them in place it allows you to shape them makes them very feathery gives you that soap brow look without it being like clumpy or overly sticky fabulous fabulous product wonderful the brush is very easy to use the product is clear so any color eyebrows you have if you're tinted whatever product you use it will go on great over over the top of it as i said i don't have anything else in my brows right now besides for this so excuse that again little unruly but i use this almost every single day so now i'm really excited about this i got the nabla secret palette and it is so beautiful the colors just absolutely speak to me of course i'm sure you can tell this green row is just green and blue row is just my thing totally calling to me but as much as i want to use like kind of the colorful shadows i think today i am just gonna go in with that neutral row just for like my look and the look that I'm going for. However, I will insert some swatches of all these other colors, not all of them, but these other colors. As you can see from these swatches, the shimmers are beautiful and pigmented and shimmery and the mattes, even though, you know, that blue shade is like not fabulous, they're still very pigmented, so silky. I will say some of the glittery shimmers are a little kind of a lot crumbly so that is something to note and I think I'm gonna do a three looks one palette on Instagram let me know if you'd want to see that but follow me on Instagram to see more than one look with this palette because this is totally inspiring me to make some looks so here we go let's get into it you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better I want let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to like than being pretty honey let's just face it you can do better let me show you what a good time okay we got liner we got lashes we got mascara we got it all so I actually used the NYX professional makeup eye pencil in just the shade white to line my um lower lash line my lower um waterline i mean and you know i don't even know if you can really tell maybe you can but this just isn't that great excuse me i have some bronzer on here this just isn't oh it looks kind of good like that but when you put it on the lower waterline it's fine it's nice for like an everyday kind of a waterline highlight but it doesn't necessarily make it pop as much as you were expecting. You know I don't really like pencil liners anyway, but I have this, so I use it. So it's time to finish up this look, and we're gonna finish it up with lips. So you already know, I already know, we all already know how I feel about the NYX Butter Gloss. I have it in the shade Orangesicle, and to go with it, I got this NYX Lip Liner in the shade, hello? knock em red it however i will not be using this i will actually be using i just got the nyx lingerie xxl liquid lipstick that's pretty new in the shade of peach flirt so that is what i'm gonna use today pretty honey let's just face it you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better Is this not just a gorgeous everyday spring summer color I'm not sure if you can really tell because my lighting is off today and for that I apologize 
but it has a very souffle texture that has the same doe foot applicator as the blush that I used for this look and kind of a similar texture. It's not like a thick, very dry matte liquid lip. It still hasn't fully dried down, but it's not tacky at all. So I really like this. I think this is a great formula. They've done a great job with it. And it was a really good release. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to have you be one of my cruelty-free cuties. And if you liked what you saw and you want to see more or you have other suggestions of what you want to see, feel free to email me and contact me via Instagram. And if you want to see potentially a three looks, one palette with that Nabla palette, you're also going to want to check out my Instagram. And so I will see you next time.